Hey guys, welcome to another episode of A Shot of Ruby. And in this episode right here, I'm going to be showing you guys how to integrate Elasticsearch into your application. So Elasticsearch has been renamed and now it's called Elastic.co. Um, and uh, it's, you know, it's got a nice new look. So this is the new website, so you can check it out right here. All right, so before we begin, let me show you what exactly we're gonna be building here. This is a very simple application. Uh, I call it MovieDB uh, for obvious reasons. And basically we've got three movies here and it's got uh, some text in here uh, and the title. So for example, if I do a search here for Hong Kong, uh, it's gonna show just you know the movie that has the keyword Hong Kong in there. So for example, this one over here has this keyword. Uh, so if I do like a search for Frozen, it's gonna give me you know the, the movie Frozen. Or if I do a search for Big, it's gonna give me Big Hero Six. All right, that's pretty straightforward. But I mean, in terms of the search query and all that, in this episode, we're gonna keep it pretty simple. But what I really want to show you guys is how to integrate all this into code, how to get it all installed, how to get Elasticsearch installed. And I want to show you guys this thing over here. So this is a plugin for Elasticsearch. So with this uh, plugin, I can see what's going on inside my Elasticsearch uh, instance that's running. And I have it running right over here. So if I go over here, it's, it's just running right over here uh, on the local host. And this is exactly the data that's inside. And I can click on it, I can see what data is being indexed and all that stuff. So this is a pretty simple setup. Um, so let's get started. All right, let's start right here in the gem file. So what we're gonna do first is include these two gem files. I've added Bootstrap SAS, just, that's just because I use Bootstrap a lot, but you don't need that one. Um, but you definitely need these two over here. So once you've got that, next uh, step is in your model, you want to include these two things, include Elasticsearch model. So we're including these modules in here and the callbacks. So basically let me explain a little bit about what the callbacks do. Uh, it's essentially what it's doing is as soon as there's like an update in the, in the record in the database, it's going to like reflect that into the Elasticsearch uh, database. So right now, you know, the best way to think about it is you've got um, two database, two persistent layers, if you will. Uh, you've got your database, your actual Postgres or MySQL, whatever it is you're using, and you've got Elasticsearch, and they two need to be kept in sync. And the callbacks do that for you. Okay, so once you've got this gem, you're gonna need to, uh, you, need, you need to set up Elasticsearch on your computer uh, before it all works. So if you're on a Mac, uh, brew install Elasticsearch will just get all that done for you. Uh, but if you are on PC uh, or um, Ubuntu, there's a Debian file or like a, a package file on uh, an Elasticsearch website you can download and install. Um, they have one for Windows as well, on EXE. Uh, so once you install that, then uh, all you have to do is just uh, Elasticsearch and uh, your Elasticsearch instance will start running on the local host. All right, so that's essentially all you really need to do in terms of uh, set up, setting up the Elasticsearch uh, itself uh, and in terms of the actual Rails app itself. So once you have all this set up, uh, Rails pretty much takes care of everything for you, like the actual plugin, the actual gem takes care of everything for you. So the next thing is uh, if you want to query the Elasticsearch uh, search engine, uh, what you need to do is use this uh, search over here. So essentially what that does is it's going to take a parameter, like a query parameter, like so this is like the keyword um, that you pass in from the form into here. And basically what, what I'm saying is here is if, if it's present, like as in if we have a keyword search, then we pass the query into this search uh, as an argument. But if we don't, we pass this asterisk here, which, which is why we have the, you know, like when we don't pass anything in, it shows all the records. And then we do a dot records, and then essentially that will get us, uh, you know, the records to display on the page. All right, so let's take a look at the view. Uh, the view is pretty simple. I'm just doing a render movies. Um, right now, uh, you know, we have this partial here rendering out the movies, pretty straightforward. 
And we've got this form here, uh, which is pretty simple. Uh, it's just a get, you know, a get form submitting a get request to the movie's path and then passing in the parameter uh, with the queue. And then that comes into here to the controller. It takes a queue, checks if it's present, and then passes it in accordingly. So essentially, that's the basic model view uh, controller setup. Uh, you know, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, as I said, like this episode is going to be pretty simple in terms of the search query itself. But what I really want to focus on is actually installing the plugin itself because that's not very straightforward. Okay, so I'm going to head over into the terminal and I'm going to sh uh, show you guys how to install the plugin. So this plugin doesn't come installed by default. Uh, what you got to do is if you do a search for Elasticsearch head, it's going to tell you you need to run the plugin install command and use this thing here. So I'm going to copy the name of the plugin. So it mobz slash Elasticsearch head. And then we're going to head over to the terminal over here. And then we're going to go to cd into usr local seller Elasticsearch and then 1.5. So th at the current time that I'm uh, uh, recording this video, 1.5 is the latest Elasticsearch version. So this folder structure is only on the Mac if you install Elasticsearch through Homebrew. Um, you're going to have to look up like which, depending on which uh, distribution of Linux you're using, where it's installed. Um, usually it's in u user local and then uh, some folder in there. Uh, or if you're on Windows, I don't know where it goes on Windows, but you need to get into where Elasticsearch is installed. And basically, once you go into the folder, you're going to see a bin folder. We're going to see it into that. So basically, we're going to look at the binaries. And you'll see that there's a binary here called plugin. And what you want to do is do plugin hyphen install. And then you paste in that uh, the path to the Elasticsearch head as it's shown in the in the browser. So once you do that, hit enter. I've already got it installed, so it's not going to do it again. Um, once you install that, Elasticsearch will be installed on your Elasticsearch as a plugin. And you can head over to the browser and basically just type in uh, localhost 9200 slash plugin slash head. So that's pretty much it for this episode. Uh, there are some other stuff, really cool stuff I want to show you using Elasticsearch. Like it's really powerful. You can do a lot of stuff with it. But in this uh, episode, I just want to focus on getting it all set up and getting the basic query working. Um, I'm going to upload the source code to this MovieDB app and I'm going to continuously keep it updated so you guys can check it out. Um, I'm going to paste a link to uh, you know, the GitHub repository in the, in, the, in the description below. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys in the next one.